And this next fight, personally, I don't have a lot of interest in this one. I feel like it's a it's a pure pass from a betting perspective. You're looking at Jai Herbert, 36 years old. He's coming back from a year-long plus layoff. That's obviously not a good look. Um, and I feel like he kind of was showing some signs of slowing down even before he took this time off. He's coming off that loss that he had to Farzium. And he's obviously had some great performances in the UFC where he, you know, he dropped Ilya. He has, I believe, gotten a nice knockout. But he's had to fight really tough guys. And his career just hasn't panned out as well as he probably thought it would have. But his opponent here, Rolando Bedoya, coming down from 170 to 155, um, which is significant because I do think he was a very small welterweight this weight class is probably going to suit him much better um and Bedoya is a younger guy so he has that advantage but he's also coming off a, a layoff and we're going to see how these guys look I mean I feel like Bedoya looked really bad his last fight versus Song so that has me a little sour on him I mean he just didn't pull the trigger seemed like he was waiting for the power of Song to land and didn't like getting hit too much, so he just went into a shell defensively, didn't do much. Um, and Herbert has that ability, you know, he's lengthy and he could, you know, move around. Bedoya is more of a guy that wants to get on get on the inside and let his hands go with the boxing. He does have pretty crisp hands, decent combinations. Um, but I feel like if Herbert is countering him well, it could really minimize what Bedoya does. And Bedoya doesn't he can wrestle. I've seen in other fights, but I just don't know if he has that ability to do it at this level. And I feel like Herbert is going to be the one that tries to bring on that that wrestling. You know, his team team renegade. They like to push you against the cage, try to take you down a lot. Obviously, Leon has that style. Um, so I'm kind of leaning towards Jai Herbert just because I feel like he'll land the bigger punches, be able to control the pace with his power. And kind of have the range advantage. And maybe even have some moments where he's holding Bedoya up against the fence. But I don't trust Herbert at all. You know, I feel like Herbert could come come in here and, and look washed up. You know, with the layoff, I feel like he already was kind of slowing down a little bit. And his chin is a little bit questionable. If it becomes a war or a really tough, high-paced fight, I favor Bedoya in, in that. So I think it's a close one. But I'm going to lean with Jai Herbert here to get the victory.